everybody welcome back I have a brilliant idea I had it this morning as we were getting rid of all the Christmas decorations my Christmas decorations are all down now I thought hmm self hmm let's pull up a corner of the carpet and see what the floor looks like wouldn't you know it's all the hardwood floor and it looks really good I poured pulled it up as my husband's going don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. I'm still pulling it up. I said, I want to see. I want to see what it looks like. So the pathway right there, the floor under that looks really nice. So, guess what we're doing? My brilliant idea. I don't know when it's going to happen, but I th we're going to tear all the living room carpet up. And we're heading to Lowe's and Menards in a couple places right now to just look at their flooring to see if it's bad, you know, what kind of flooring they have. Or if I don't like it when it's all tore up, we'll put another flooring down. But with the dogs, I have a big dog that I shaved today because the dog sheds. So look at my dog. Can you see my dog? My dog is bald. I've even shaved the cat. Not today, but I, I did shave a cat once recently. That went well. But between the dog, the two cats, and all the grandkids, and my husband and me, look, I can't keep this carpet clean. I can't keep it clean for nothing. I, carp I can carpet clean it all I want, and it's still going to be a mess. So, let's go look at some uh, flooring. Yeah, flooring. Here's the carpet. I don't know if you can see it. But, it was, it's probably... 30 years old maybe I don't know it was in when we bought the house and it's not in in bad condition at all there's no tears holes there nothing I just can't keep it clean because of this hairball non hairball excuse me won't stay out of the mud let the dog out and goes right to the mud and then I've got this fur ball here that doesn't help any and then my other cat, I don't know where the other cat is, but that one goes in and out like a dog. All right, so what do you think about redoing the floor? Are you happy? Well, I don't know yet. I'm hoping we don't find anything bad in here. I'm just pull carpeting up. I know in the other room, we found a bad spot in the corner over by the one wall, which kind of maybe had to put a patch in. So I'm hoping that we don't find anything like that Awful in here. Awful and bad, yeah. If we do, um, we'll I go to plan B. Laminate, yeah, plan B is laminate flooring. I could probably do that for a couple hundred bucks. under $500. Everything. Trim Good. and everything. I am lucky that he knows how to do all this. All right, let's go. Let's go. I'm hungry. Just every, almost every person in my family has allergies. They're allergic to cats, dogs, everything. Even me, I'm I'm allergic to dogs. That's why we got Macy because it's a Labradoodle, and it's supposed to be hyper like hyper, yeah. And I do fine with Macy. I mean, I can't roll around on the floor with her. And if I don't carry the cats around, I'm okay. The cats, you know, once in a while they bother me, but I really keep them keep it clean when it comes to the cats because I don't want to have an allergy attack. My mom can't be, a, you know, she'll have to take an allergy pill. I know some other family members that come over, they're allergic to my animals. So tearing up the carpet will help. That'll help a lot. So tear, even the dust, I have a dust allergy too. So that will tremendously help with that, you know. So I don't know. I was cutting up the deer and I'm allergic to hair, animals with hair. And I just broke out all up my arms and my eyes were watering and it was just a thing. So this might help other family members when they come over. We have no carpet. Hi everybody. Welcome back. It's the next day. We did our Lowe's and Menards shop look around at flooring and I'll show you what we found. Okay, come over here. All right. You can see our floors already uh, laminate. So I thought 
if if the flooring underneath is bad which it might be I don't know what do we want to do so I got three shades I don't know if you can see this a brown so this one has some gray in it and this is just totally gray and what goes best with this floor is actually what I was doing. Oh, there, oh, there's the cat. That's what I'm looking for. What goes best with this floor? If we have to put a new floor in right now. I don't know. And I wanted something different. And I think this one's too dark. This one kind of goes. But I like the lighter one. And there is gray in this floor. I don't know if you can see it. But there is gray in this floor. And it actually... In person looks it looks okay so that's today what I'm starting now I have a plan to do with this floor because I want to try to do this by myself not all of it but Rob's got other stuff doing and I just want to try to do some of this by myself we'll see how it goes so I'm gonna do it slowly like a little section at a time and then pull all whatever I need out of the floor, like the staples and stuff. But it might take me weeks to do this. I don't know, but I'm going to start it now. I'm sure Rob will help me and it might get done sooner than that. But, and then the plan is to get a carpet remnant. I was looking at rugs. And, you know, the, the rugs that I like are like $1,500. Okay, well, that's not happening. So then we looked at remnants. And I'm like, yeah, we could get a big piece of remnant. And kind of put padding under it and, and make it look like it's the, I don't know, it'll look good when we're done. But we're just going to get a remnant. We'll look around for that. That was around $200, the size we needed. Between the, rem, the remnant or the rug. I like the braided rug better, but the remnant is more affordable. So we're going to do that. So I'm going to start on this floor. While I'm at it, let me show you what I got for Christmas. This is the coolest thing. I got this. Rob got me this little mini tripod. Now I gotta sit you down. Now watch what this thing does. It bends. I could, I could like hang it on a tree if I wanted to. And there's a level on it. The level's actually now on the camera. But isn't this like the coolest tripod ever? All right, I got the first little section up. This is just all stuff that's gonna come off. There's nothing wrong with this floor absolutely nothing wrong with this section so hopefully the rest goes well I'm, I'm really hoping I'm really hoping all right so far so good so far so good wonder how many times I'm gonna hit my head on that thing many probably I'm happy with that now I'm gonna come I'm behind the couch now and we're gonna we're gonna see what it looks like under the window to get my husband's help there are like two inch nails in now oh, that one's not a big one there's two inch nails in this carpet strip that I can't for I can't get out so he's helping me out here but other than that it's moving along pretty good pretty good I did find out that the carpet was put in in 1976. So it's almost like 44 years old. So for being, look at my hair. I've been busy working, okay. So for being that old, I mean, look at, look at this carpet. It is held up really good. They don't make stuff like this nowadays. And you could tell, well, here's the walking path that I've been keeping clean, but look at this. This was like not the walking path. Oop, there goes my camera lens. So <laughs> they don't make carpet like this anymore. Not at all. Nowadays, this part fall apart really quickly. All right, so that's my project for the day. And I'm gonna end the video here and 
keep working or I don't know take a break I've been taking a break every once in a while because I can't overdo it because then I won't be able to move for days so I'm doing this taking it easy but I look terrible today but you know what it's just a working day <laughs> it's a working day all right so if you like my video subscribe come back for more and um, I'll keep you updated on the floor and what we do with it bye